How you doing today, boys and girls? We're going to take a look at section 2.6, proving statements about segments and angles. And this is going to be our first video and our first example for this section. Now, what we're going to do is take a look at our first example, and it's going to be a proof. Here's what it's going to look like. We're going to be given the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 3. And what we have to prove is that the measure of angle EBA, which is this guy right here, EBA, is going to be equal to the measure of angle DBC. So I've got to show these two angles are going to be equal. So that's the task I've got here ahead of me. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got to do to get this going. Now, as in any proof, you want to start by listing the statement and reason for step one is going to be the given information. So we're going to go ahead and write down the measure of angle 1 equals measure of angle 3, and our reason is going to be given. Now for step number 2, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the measure of angle EBA. And if I look at that angle, I can see that that's angles 2 and 3 added up together. Now, the reason for that is going to be the angle addition postulate. So measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 2 their sum is going to be equal to the measure of angle EBA by the angle addition postulate. Now, if we take a look at statements 1 and 2, there's going to be one thing that's the same in both of those. And that thing that's the same, I'm going to be able to use the substitution property of equality to help me out with that. So if I take a look at the first statement and the second statement, what I'm going to be able to do is take out the measure of angle 3 and replace it with the measure of angle 1. And the reason I can do that is the substitution property of equality. So there's my first three statements and reasons right there. Now, on to the fourth statement. Similar to the second statement, what we're going to do is go ahead and use the angle addition postulate, but this time for the other angle. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle DBC. And again, I can see that in my diagram, and the reason for that is the angle addition postulate. Now, one of the things that we want to pay close attention to is in statement 3 and statement number 4. Notice that there's something that's the same in both of those. Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is the same in both of those, so we can use the transitive property of equality to set the measure of angle EBA equal to the measure of angle DBC. So my final statement is going to say that measure of angle EBA equals measure of angle DBC, and my reason is going to be the transitive property of equality. Now, I always want to double check when I think I'm finished. Look back up at the proof. Is what I had to prove the same thing that is in my last statement? If it is, I am finished. If not, I have to continue to go until my last statement is exactly what the proof says. So that's it for example one. If you got it, great. If you need to pause and rewind, go ahead and do that too. But now, if you want to see example number two, go ahead and look at the next video.